As an A&E doctor, I've seen a lot during this pandemic, but nothing has shocked me more than seeing younger people being admitted to our hospitals with COVID-19. And as well as their age, many of them had one other thing in common. They were unvaccinated. I think the, the worst thing is like, n normally you'd be able to go to bed, to go to sleep and wake up feeling kind of ready to face the day. I could sleep for a week and still feel tired. Um, the, the kind of other one that I've really suffered with is joint and body aches. Kind of when you've got a cold or you've got the flu, that all over ache, like even your teeth hurt. Um, I get that most of the time. I just, I feel like I'm always sore in some way. My lungs out of nowhere just kind of stopped. Um, I struggled to breathe, um, sitting, lying down, so obviously sitting upright. I couldn't breathe. Uh, my energy levels dropped, so walking of any kind of distance, my, I, I'd get automatically tired. Um, I was then sort of attached to a ventilator machine. I was 21, so I was really young. I was fit and healthy, I had literally no conditions. I was doing exercise and for about seven months solid, I genuinely thought I, I might die that year. Previously very fit, young, active people that may be now struggling to get out of bed, struggling to speak to their friends on the phone, struggling to return to their normal leisure activities, be it football, dance classes, horse riding, varying all the way up to going back to school and to work. Um, these are very emotional stories and they're very difficult to, to process as, for us as a team and they're very difficult for the individual to process in their normal everyday lives. It's affecting people of any age, young and old. What we are seeing is that if you have not had your vaccine, you are more likely to end up in hospital. My advice to um, anyone really, um, young and old, would be to get the vaccine because it's um, a naive way of thinking that you're invincible just because you're fit and healthy or you eat the right stuff. It, it can affect everybody and even if it doesn't affect you, you can carry it and, carry it and, and infect your parents, your grandparents, loved ones. In hindsight, I wish I had taken the vaccine when I was initially offered it. I now understand that it would have likely re reduced my chances of ending up in hospital or give me a, a stronger chance of fighting it off. I would take it in a heartbeat. Vaccines truly are the way out of this pandemic and the best way to protect ourselves. We're seeing more young people than ever in our hospitals with COVID-19 and many of them tend to be unvaccinated. However, a lot of young people have actually already had their first jab. So getting the vaccine is more common than you think. Protect yourself and your family today. Go online to find your nearest vaccination centre.